I start too fast? <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The top of the evening to you, Jim. Glad to be here, but I got to tell you, I had two offers for tonight, and it wasn't an easy choice. I could have been either a speaker here or a streaker at UCLA. <laughs> And I figured I might as well come here because these days I speak faster than I streak. <laughs> now, I can't tell you what a thrill and an honor it is to come here and honor this man who I've always admired for his wonderful impression of Frank Gorshin. <laughs> now, Seven Little Fours, I get a kick in that scene because that was the first dramatic picture I made. Of course, we didn't know it at the time. <laughs> But it's a scene at montage of Jimmy is something. You were tough in your movies. I remember the crowd roars when you punched Joan Blondell. You were hard and tough. And right then, I realized my life's ambition. All I wanted to do with the rest of my life was to punch Joan Blondell. <laughs> now, Jimmy always played a vicious character. For Cagney, a love scene was when he let the other guy live. always played tough guys. You know, the kind of parts now being played by Tatum O'Neill. <laughs> now, every movie of yours I saw, Jimmy, had that, an influence on me. One day I saw Cagney, double feature, Public Enemy and G-Man. And as soon as I came out of the theater, I started to hold up a bank. But just in the nick of time, I arrested myself. <laughs> I don't know how you do today, Jimmy. I can't see Jimmy making a picture like the last tango in Paris. Pat O'Brien would never give him absolution. <laughs> One of my favorites was The Seven Little Fords because that movie gave me a chance to act and dance with Jimmy Cagney. And I was going to conclude my remarks by saying that everything I know about dancing and acting, I learned from Jimmy Cagney. But AFI said, look, it's his night. Why depress him? I know that everyone within the sound of my voice has his own special memories of you, Jimmy, whether as a co-worker or a movie fan. So on behalf of them, I take the privilege of saying to you, Jim, thanks for the memories. <laughs> 